having some deals on certain radios. I really wonder what the deal is with this one. Like I bought one a long time ago and it just like it didn't work well. But like here's this one. It's nineteen dollars. This one's sixty two. Um I don't know why it would be better. Let's see here. Um and there's a couple of ones now that are coming out. They call it the UV5R8W. Um, you'd be really interested to see if this really does 8 watts or anything close to it. Like if it did 6 watts, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, you don't really need 8 watts, I mean, like to be honest with you. Um, but usually they're full of crap on most of these things. So like um, that other radio that I was talking about, it didn't do 8 watts. It did about six, and it didn't. It, there's something was wrong with it. It was like putting out six watts, but it was a spur. It was a harmonic. It wasn't at the fundamental frequency. Um, I didn't put it on a spectrum analyzer. I think I had a defective unit. Anyway, um, so some of these new ones actually have the air band, and they actually have a plug on the back of the battery. This one doesn't look like it has that, but um, I mean, for a, a UV5R, if it's eight watts. It's 19 bucks. It's probably not a bad deal. You'd have to be crazy to buy something like this radio for $62. I mean, you could buy a bunch of other radios. I don't know why anybody would buy it, to be honest. Let's see here. And it's been out for about 10 years. In fact, it has been out for 10 years. Because it came out in like 2014 and I bought mine in 2015. There's a lot of these new radios here and I, I've not tried any of them. You've seen it be like um, all similar looking but all completely different internals. And just completely different opinions on them. And it seems like um, from one day to the next you could end up getting a different radio. There's a $16 radio right here. The uh, M5R and that one has airband. And I, I don't remember if somebody was complaining about that one or not. Um, and so um, there's, there's all these just new variations of different ones. And it's hard to keep up with them all for sure. And sometimes I think they're just all the same. Like here's a 5RX. And I, I know I have a new, uh, newer uh, UV5R from like last year. And I was able to just open it up. And it covers at least three bands. Uh, out of the box by just doing a uh, keypad uh, power on thing. Um, anyway, um, so I think that they all might be the same anyways in a lot of cases. I get these radios here that claim 10 watts and uh, GMRS and this one's ham. I mean, definitely look better than the old radios, um, but I don't know, do they work any better? And a lot of these ones are locked. This is the new one that has airband, apparently. <laughs> and they're, they're fun to play around with and collect and stuff, but, like, I, I, I've said it before on the channel, I don't sit and talk on two meters. I just listen. So, I mean, your mileage is going to vary on these radios, but if you don't talk on them and, and they don't have a receiver problem, who cares if they have spurious emissions? It doesn't matter. So that's just me, though. I just don't talk on two meters, and it's not something. I've got my radio here scanning. I don't ever talk on it. If I do, it's going to be on Simplex. I'm not interested in talking on repeaters. Oh, look what we got there. Um, and I'm not... I just, I don't fit into that part of ham radio. It's not my cup of tea. And I've lived in a bunch of different locations, and it's been pretty much the same thing everywhere I've been. Uh, same thing with DMR. I love to listen to it, but I don't talk on DMR. I've not tried one of these. I think this would be probably a radio it would be cool to try, but I'm not going to pay that kind of money for it. 
And I don't think they will send me one for free. I actually sent them an email a couple of years back. You know, hey, I'd like to, you know, try out any kind of radios you might have um, to review on my channel. Um, I'm pretty sure they replied back, uh, but that was the end of that. I contacted all the major companies a while back. There's another interesting radio. A little too expensive, but um, kind of cool looking. Actually not bad for what it comes with. Um, but anyway, so I just uh, I can't be ordering stuff just to collect them anymore. It'd be one thing if I, you know, talked on them all the time. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff on here. And they're constantly changing, and you just never know what the hell 